What's up guys, Seb here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you three awesome ways that you can create short form content, as well as a few tips and tricks you might not be aware of. And if you are an advanced editor like myself, then stay tuned until the very end because I've just released a brand new feature which is gonna make your lives so much easier. Now, a quick recap, if you're new to Opus, it's basically an AI tool which repurposes your long form content into short form content and it uses AI to do this. So essentially, it will scan through your entire video, it will find a hook, and then it will find that middle section of your video as well as a bit of an outro and just reformats that all into one video so you have short form videos. And the best part is it creates about 10 videos per 10 minute video. So you basically have unlimited short form content. Now, a few features that Opus has which you might not be aware of is it uses AI to automatically add dynamic captions, which we'll show you in just a minute. It's got active speaker detection, which is really awesome because then if you're moving, it will track you, but also if you have multiple people, it will also add these multiple people in your shot. It also now has auto B-roll, which you can toggle on to automatically add B-roll to your video. And it has a dynamic layout. So say you have three people talking in your video, it will actually separate each speaker into its individual little section inside of that video. So you could have one person up here and then two people down here. So really awesome and the best part is it does this all completely automatically and one of my favorite features is that it also has filler word removal so if you're going um uh all of that you can toggle on that button and it'll completely remove it from your video which is of course going to save you valuable seconds which is really important when you're creating short form content okay so to get started with step one i'm going to showing you how to easily repurpose your long form videos into short form videos so you want to start by heading over to opus.pro and don't worry if you haven't got an account yet you can create one for complete completely free. The fastest way to do it is to just drag and drop a video link, so from YouTube or from Vimeo, or you can upload a video file from your computer straight into Opus. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in a YouTube video. I'm going to click on get free clips and then you're going to see that it's going to prompt you to log in or create an account if you haven't already. So because I've got an account, I'm going to sign in with Google and then you're going to see that it's going to pop us on this screen right here. Now, before you do anything, I always recommend everyone to go on edit in brand template. And essentially this is going to speed up your editing time because you can customize customize the template to match your brand aesthetics and your theme. So you click on this and then you have full customizability when it comes to your video. So you can auto add emojis, auto add an intro, and then here you have your captions. So this way you can customize it to have more words or one word. You can customize the positioning. I like to keep it on auto. And this is the caption transition. So you can disable it or you can enable it and you have all of these awesome transitions. I really like pop. You can also customize your font have uppercase on or off and then choose your colors here. And the AI keyword highlighter is awesome because when it detects a keyword in your video, it's gonna make it the colors that you've selected. And then of course you have the layout settings. So if you want it for landscape, square or portrait, you can select it here. So once you've customized it, it'll have save as template. So because I've already customized it, then I can't save it. But once you've done that, head back to your Opus section here and then you can customize and select your brand default or you can select the different templates that Opus has already created. We're gonna leave it as default brand template and then here you have your processing time frame. So if you want Opus to only find clips from this section of your video, you can select it here, but if you want it to do the whole video, you can just leave it as it is. Here you can also select your preferred clip length, so 30 seconds or 90 seconds to three minutes. And then here you have a keyword filter topic. So add in whatever keywords you want from your specific video and you'll find video clips from that keyword. Once you're happy, go ahead and click on get clips in one click. The AI is now gonna analyze your video and in about 10 minutes or so, depending on the processing time and wait times, you'll have your clip. So here you can see it's gonna take 14 minutes, which is super awesome. Go ahead and grab yourself a coffee, come back and you have some clips ready to edit. So once your video has been processed, you have this dashboard here. You can see it's still got 12 minutes. I've actually gone ahead and created or uploaded my own video here so we can save time. So this is a little podcast I did with Dustin. And basically you can see that we have a bunch of different videos here with virality scores as well as a bit of a description. And we can actually just go ahead and preview these and you can see that we've got our animated captions which are looking awesome. And you also notice here, it's created a bit of a split screen view. So if you go ahead and click on edit, you'll then be able to customize it even further. So you can highlight certain words like this, and then you can change the highlight color or you can completely delete that, which is really awesome. 
Now, one of the awesome features that I spoke about is the filler and pauses. So basically in your script, if you see any filler pauses, it will come up here and then you can click on either of these buttons and it will completely remove that. So filler words or pauses, you know, it can be like, um, ah, all of that. You can completely remove it in just one click. Now, one of my favorite features inside of Opus is the new auto B-roll. So head to your design and then click on auto B-roll. And then you'll see in just a moment, it's gonna scan all of this and then it's gonna try and find relevant B-roll to the video that we're talking about, which just saves you so much more time. So here you can see that it's added one, two, three, four, five, six different pieces of B-roll. So you can go ahead and click play and then have a look at it. And again, if you don't like the B-roll, you can easily customize this. You just click on it and then you can type in whatever you want, click on search and then select what you want. And you can of course reposition it however you want by clicking on it. And the same thing comes to your clip. So you can completely reposition it if you want, make yourself bigger or smaller, whatever you want, completely customizable. So that is the first way to create short form content. You can then go ahead and click on save and compile. And then once you come back to this section, you'll be able to download it in HD. Okay, now the second way to create short form content using Opus is a super underrated feature, which I love to do, is to actually just edit your short form content before bringing it into Opus. So here you can see we've got a clip where I'm talking about the exposure triangle with cameras. So you can see it's just a quick talking head clip just like this. And basically what you wanna do is drag and drop your already edited short form content into Opus. And then you'll be on this page, you can select your style and then go ahead and click on get clips in one click. And then essentially what this does is just speeds up your editing time because you don't have to worry about doing captions and B-roll. So again, I've already preloaded this. So this is the demo clip that I was talking about. It's 15 seconds. You can see that we've got a nice description. We've got a title right here. And then if we go ahead and click play, you can see that the captions have already been edited. So again, if you want to customize this even further, all you have to do is go to design and then you can just enable auto B-roll and then you're going to have a B-roll added to your video. And of course you can completely customize the captions even further if you want. So for example, if I wanted to change it to side left, you can see that it will just customize that right off the bat. So really awesome and quick way to add captions to your videos using Opus. Now the third way you can utilize Opus to create your short form content is an actual little hack that we found that Grant Cardone uses. And what he does is his team actually just imports their video using a blue screen like this or a green screen. All you have to do is upload your blue screen or your green screen clip. All right, so as you can see, we now have our blue screened video with the captions. So essentially the reason we're doing this is so you can then bring this into your editing software and then you can basically have the flexibility to move around the captions to wherever you want them. But before you download your video, go into the edit section and then go into design and to get the best results, you actually want to go all the way down until you see font stroke and then font shadow. Essentially the font shadow, you wanna completely remove this. And when it comes to the stroke, you can have a stroke if you want. I think you do actually get a little bit better results if you do have the stroke on or you can completely remove it. And the reason why is if you see here, it kind of creates a bit of a drop shadow even with the stroke but also here it creates this. Now essentially when we're using the green screen or ultra key effect with a drop shadow, it kind of leaves a bit of a grayish drop shadow, a grayish tint um, on the outside right here. So if we actually go ahead and disable this, you'll see we now have clean text, which is gonna be really good when we go to actually add this inside of our video and you actually be able to add a drop shadow externally inside of your editing platform so then you still get that same effect. So go ahead and click on save and compile and then it's going to go ahead and re-render this video out so it'll take about three minutes. Then you can just go ahead and download that and then I'll quickly show you how you can put this into your editing platform so you can get the cleanest results. Okay, so all you need to do in your editing software is have your base clip. So this is the clip that we used inside of Opus without the blue screen. So you can see that it's fully edited, all the B-roll has been added. So now essentially all we wanna do is grab our blue screen clip drag and drop that into your video like this. And it's basically as easy as heading to your effects, typing in ultra, drag and drop that onto your blue screen clip, scroll down, select the picker, go on the blue, 
and now you can see that the captions are now on the video. Now the reason why we've done this instead of doing it inside of Opus is so we can now customize the positioning of the captions. So for this first clip, I want my captions to be up here so you can see I've changed the positioning, right? But then as soon as this layer comes in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it and then we're just gonna move these down here just so we can reposition the captions to where we want. So again, once we come back onto here, we can bring it back up here to where we want it. And then we just keep doing this for the rest of the video. So because I talk about ISO, I can actually go ahead and cut this. So I don't need this captions right here because it's all displayed on screen. And then we cut that there, boom. Again, we just need to reposition this. So this basically just gives us a lot more flexibility when it comes to editing our videos so we can get a more professional look. And again, I mentioned that you can add your drop shadow back in. So go back to your effects and then you click on drop shadow. I've already got a preset, so I can just drag and drop that on. You can see that the drop shadow has now been added. So if we quickly disable it, boom, you can see that the drop shadow has been added. So again, you can customize your drop shadow to have you want. And sometimes you can even stack more on top, which I like to do to give it a better, better look or a harsher look. And again, you see you can change it to wherever you want. So if you change your distance, all of that you can completely customize it as much as you want. And finally, for the last editing tip, which I spoke about for the advanced editors, we're actually gonna head back to Opus and we're gonna click on the KSI and Logan Paul podcast that we uploaded at the start of this video. And what you'll notice on this drop down menu, you can do export to Premiere Pro. So you click on this, it's now going to download this and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the folder because I've already got it ready for you guys. So it'll look like this, and then this is basically what Opus gives you. So you go back into Premiere Pro, you wanna click on File, then Open Project. You then wanna click on the folder that you downloaded, and then you'll see results.xml. You then wanna click on Open, and then you'll see it imports your projects inside of Premiere Pro. So here you can see you basically have your entire clip from Opus added inside of your Premiere Pro timeline. And you'll also notice that they've added a 10 second buffer to your clip, so you can then extend it to another 10 seconds. So you, if you wanted to add on to this or you know play around with the trimmings, you can actually do this all inside of Premiere Pro. Now the final step is to import your captions, so here's how to do it. So essentially, go back to your folder that you downloaded from Opus, you'll see your captions SRT, drag that into your project, and then it's as simple as drag and dropping this in here, press OK, and now you can see that you've got your captions. Now, because this feature is just come out in beta, you actually notice that you don't have the Opus captions, so we've actually building this, and probably by the time that you're watching this video, this will be fixed. But essentially, you just need to go to your essential graphics. Here you can then customize the fonts to whatever you want, you know, change the color, change the thickness, all of that, as well as the positioning, and then you're pretty much good to go. You have complete rain, complete flexibility, you know, you're on a professional video editing software, so customize it to however you want and then you're done. So I absolutely love this new feature where you can import it into Premiere Pro because basically you can let Opus identify the clips to use in your long form video and then you can bring it straight into Premiere Pro and then you have that buffer where you can extend stuff or shorten them and then you have complete flexibility when adding your captions and your b-roll and all your other special effects. So it really does shorten that editing time by a lot. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And let us know in the comments down below if you want us to make any specific videos on anything related to Opus or short form content creation and we'll be sure to make that happen.